Last lean. Uh, I don't know if anybody's going to patent that, but that's a terrible rhyme, but you're an NCAA champion. Uh, what do you recollect about the last barrier and those last few steps? Man, it just went by so fast, honestly. I just remember I got a good start. I was leading until like hurdle three, and then he kind of caught me a little bit. And then after hurdle five, I literally just used all my speed, all the training I've, uh, I've done, and just lean for that line, you know. And I came out with the win, so I'm so grateful about that. Runner up last year, champion this year. Just talk about the emotions that you have right now. Man, from falling short last year to actually winning it, it's just so surreal. Like, I can't express how grateful I am and thankful for my coaches, my support staff, just everyone who helped me get to this point. I'm so thankful to them. Today's a very special day as the Raiders are going after a team title and you're just knocking out more points as that you guys are trying to get after. So what is the mindset just going into the, the final day of the championship? Just finish. Finish what we started. That's all. Davis. How, how, oh, right how right profound has that momentum been, right? Like, it's like when one guy's stepping up, you know, obviously with uh, Terrence you know, uh, winning, and, you know what I mean? It just seems like the, like those points are all rolling in the right direction. Like, how significant is that? Like, when somebody gets it going in the right direction, that everybody just, you know, rolls with that momentum. Yeah, it's just like our home meet, you know? Coming off of Big 12, we already had a lot of momentum. We won the Big 12 championship. So just coming here, winning the 60, we got points in the 400. Uh, we got points in a lot of different events. So just taking that momentum and using it, it's really uh, something special. Coming off the, the 60 place there as well, what was the mindset as you then prepared for the first? Uh, the mindset was just focused, you know, lock in. Uh, I didn't do as well as I wanted to do in the 60, and I ran a not so good time, I mean, for me. Uh, so I just said, focus, don't let this affect your next race. You know, like another race you need to focus on, and then, you know, I just stayed locked in, tunnel vision, and I got it, I got the job done. And then, what's the motivation, what's the excitement as we look towards outdoors for the tennis? I'm very excited for outdoors. Honestly. I think I'm gonna draw something crazy in the corner hurdles. The one time hurdles too. I, I started to. Uh, I was on eight step for hurdle like, until this year. So I started uh, seven stepping in like October, November. So yeah, I'm still getting a hang up uh, seven stepping. So like for outdoors, it's gonna be something special for sure. From going through that emotional experience now before last year, right? But just in terms of managing the overall, you know, energy and you know, and just you know, trying to just stay as you know as calm and as level like through here, like you know, do you feel like going through all the you know conference championships, regional rounds, NCAA championships, like have just you know allowed you to kind of handle all that better this time? No, for sure, definitely going through all those regionals, Big Twelves, all that. Like coming to this meet, I just treat like another meet, another day. Another day in the office, and you know, it paid off. Awesome. Good job. Congratu so Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. So